In this video, we're going to talk about the different multiplication rules for exponents. The first one is called the product of powers. When multiplying powers with the same base, you add the exponents. So for example, x to the fourth times x to the fifth would be x to the four plus five or x to the ninth. Right? Simplifying the product of powers, the first thing you want to do is group like variables together using the commutative property of multiplication. So in this example, I'm going to put all the a's together. So I have a squared, a cubed, times b times b squared. So reorganizing using that commutative property. And then for each base or variable, you add the exponents. Remember that bases without exponents have an invisible exponent of 1. So a to the 2 times a to the 3 would be a to the 2nd plus 3rd. b would be b to the 1st plus b to the 2nd. So you're going to add those exponents together. And your final answer will be b, oops, sorry, a to the 5th b to the third. All right, the second exponent rule is power to a power. So when raising a power to a power, you multiply the exponents. Let me grab a different pen here. This one seems to be running out. Okay, so for example, I have x to the third to the second. So this would be x to the three times two or x to the sixth. Simplifying the power of a power, so we're going to multiply the exponents and keep the base the same. So for this one, I have n to the fourth raised to the fifth. So this would be n to the fourth times five. So n to the four times five, four times five is 20. So that would be n to the 20th power. Last one is power of a product. When multiplying a power of a product, you share the outside exponent with each power inside the parentheses. It's similar to the distributive property. So for example, x to the second, y to the third, all raised to the second, would be x to the 2 times 2. So it's a power to a power. So I'm multiplying those two exponents, and then I'm going to multiply the 3 and the 2, so it would be y to the 3rd times 2nd, or x to the 4th, y to the 6th. Simplifying the power of a product, you share the exponent with each power inside the parentheses. So another example, q to the 5th, n to the 2nd, would be q to the 5 times 3, times n to the 2 times 3. So this is going to be q to the 15th, n to the Okay, so we're going to keep the, multiply the exponents and keep the bases the same. So really this just goes there. All right, a couple other examples. I'm oh, sorry, let me back up a little bit. If you want a quick summary of the rules, they're all up here. This one's product of powers, power to a power, and power of a product. So all of your rules are right here at the top. All right, multiplication rules for exponents, additional examples. Again, your rules are listed at the top. Here's one, product of powers. So I have two bases that are the same, and they're being multiplied together. So I'm going to add the exponents. So this is going to be x to the 3 plus 5, or x to the 8th as my final answer there. Right, this one, I'm going to use the commutative property, and I'm going to rearrange to put all the a's together. So I'm going to have a to the 4th, a to the 3rd, B and then B to the second. So I then can add my exponents. 4 plus 3 is 7, so I have A to the seventh. B to the first, B to the second is going to give me B to the third. Third example, I'm going to rearrange it to put my constants, or sorry, my coefficients in the front, so all the numbers are going to be up front. So I would have 4 times negative 2, and then I'm going to use my n, so I have n squared n to the third. Simplify the numeric part. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. And then I'm going to have um, to add these exponents as it's the same base being multiplied together. So this is going to give me negative 8, n to the 2 plus 3, 
which is 5. All right, power to a power. Multiply my exponents together. So I'm going to have y to the 3 times 7 or y to the 21st. Same thing here. I'm going to multiply them together. So I have n to the negative 2 times 5, which is n to the negative 10. And we don't want to keep negative exponents. We're not simplified until all exponents are positive. So if I remember from the last lesson, I'm going to rewrite this as 1 over n to the 10th power. Right, power of a product, similar to distributive property, everything inside here is going to get that exponent. So the 2 is going to become 2 to the 4th. And a to the 2nd, this is a power to a power, so I'm going to multiply. It's going to be a to the 2 times 4. Simplify that numeric part, 2 to the 4th. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16. And multiply those exponents, a to the 8th. All right. Power of a product, again, similar to distributive property. I'm going to have to multiply these together. So I'm going to have m to the negative 2 times 3, n to the 2 times 3. And this is going to give me m to the negative 6, n to the 6th. And I still don't like negative exponents. So I'm going to put this m to the negative 6 down in the denominator. So I have n to the 6 over m to the 6. That's my final answer. All right, our last little section, we're going to mix all the different rules together. So we're going to include some rules where we have exponents to the 0 and to negatives. So my first example here, I have 2v to the 0 to the 2nd times vu to the 4th. For me, anytime I see something to the 0 power, I like to just cross it out because it's 1, and I can just kind of remove it. It's not part of my picture anymore, so that's where I start. All right, and then I'm going to take care of any power to a power, so I now have 2 to the 2nd, and then I have v u to the 4th. I cannot simplify that any further, as these two bases are different. Oh, I'm sorry, yes I can. I can do 2 to the 2nd, which is 4, v u to the 4th. Final answer. All right, next, I don't have any variables to the zero power, so I'm going to start right away with power to a power. So I'm going to distribute this outside exponent to everything inside. So this is going to become 2 to the fourth, x to the 4 times 4, y to the negative 2 times 4, and I have 2 to the fourth again, and y to the 2 times 4. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and rearrange and put all my numbers in front and then uh, put all the variables together and then I can also do the multiplication. So I'm going to have 2 to the 4th, that takes care of that one, and again I kind of like to cross these out as I go to make sure I get everything, times 2 to the 4th. X's come next, that's going to be X to the 4 times 4 or 16. And then I have Y to the negative 8. And then I have y to the 8th. And then if you notice, if you remember from your um, notes, these bases are the same, so I would add those exponents together. So I now have 2 to the 4th times 2 to the 4th times x to the 16th. Negative 8 plus 8 is 0, so y to the 0. Coming up here a little bit. 2 to the 4th is 16, times 2 to the 4th is 16, so I have 16 times 16. So my numeric part is 256. y to the 0 is 0, and then I have x to the 16th. That's going to be my final answer for that one. All right, example 3. Notice I have a power to a power, but the outside power is a 0. Anything raised to the 0 power is 1. Number three, the answer is just one. All right, last example, number four, start with the power to a power. So I have two to the second, a to the third times two, b to the four times two, and b to the three times two. So distribute that outside exponent. This one's nice, it's already rearranged for me. Two to the second is four. I have a to the sixth, b to the eighth, b to the sixth, and then I'm going to add those two exponents together. 8 plus 6 is 14. So I have 4a to the 6, 
b to the 14. Final answer there.